Hey everybody, this is Rich Brooks of Flight New Media, the web design and internet marketing company, and today I want to talk to you about Google Analytics. Google Analytics is an incredibly powerful tool that shows you not just how people found your website, but what they did once they got there. It lets you see what parts of your website are working and what parts of your digital marketing are working, and also what's not working so well. All this, and it's completely free. There is one thing that Google Analytics can't do, however. It can't travel backwards through time. And by that I mean it doesn't start working until you've installed it. So if you don't yet have Google Analytics set up on your website, let's take care of that right now. Now first thing is you're going to have to have a Google Analytics account. If you've got a Gmail or YouTube, chances are you already have a Google Analytics account. But I'm going to recommend that you set one up specifically for your business. If you have a Google Analytics account that's attached to an employee's email or Gmail and then they leave, you're going to lose all that data. So it's always in your best interest to set up a Google account specifically for your business. Once you've logged into your Google account, you're going to want to head over to google.com analytics and set up a new Google Analytics account. Once you get to your new page, you're going to want to give your account a name, probably your business name would work really well here. And then you're going to want to name your website. So this is a specific property. So if you have multiple websites, this is why they ask you for both the account name and the website name. And then you're just going to want to put in the URL for your website. Then choose a category. I chose healthcare. I probably should have chosen beauty and fitness, but that's okay. I can change it later. And then you're just going to want to put in your time zone. Down below, you decide what data you're willing to share back with Google. The more data you share with Google, the more information and reports they'll provide for you. Once you've done that, agree to their terms of service, and they'll take you to a page where you can get your website tracking code. This is a code that's going to go on every page of your website. You can either install this code yourself, or if you're not sure how to do that, you can just simply copy and paste it and email it over to your web developer. Now once that's been taken care of and the code is installed, Google is going to start tracking all the activity at your website. But there are a lot more ways in which you can optimize your Google Analytics installation, and we're going to take a look at a few of those in the videos to come. Now if you found this valuable, if you found it helpful at all, please give us a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions about the installation of Google Analytics or any questions about how to use Google Analytics for tracking your traffic and activity, please leave us a question in the comments section below and we'll get you an answer as quickly as we can. Happy tracking!